Today, we are connecting with more than 200 years of American philanthropy through a very special program that explores the historic connections between the Smithsonian, Eliza Hamilton, Graham Wyndham, a New York City-based nonprofit that serves children and families. The heart of our museum is our collection of national treasures and the stories they represent. We are thrilled that these extraordinary objects will help us tell complex stories about philanthropy, theater, art, women's history, and so much more. We know that people don't always relate to the word philanthropy since nowadays it often refers to large monetary gifts. In Eliza Hamilton's day, though, it meant love of mankind and referred to a sentiment that could motivate action on behalf of people in need. Women raised money and attracted public funds. They innovated in welfare policy and they responded to public criticism. Eliza was at the forefront of these developments, serving as a trustee of the Orphan Asylum Society for 43 years. In the late 1800s, portraits of the four key founders hung in the trustees' meeting room. We are so very honored to receive this treasured portrait as a foundational object in the philanthropy collection. It's my honor and pleasure to accept the generous donation of this costume worn by Lin-Manuel Miranda in the original Broadway run of Hamilton, an American musical. Hamilton is a perfect example of how the arts and entertainment not only reflect our history, but also shape our national conversations, playing a vital role in our democracy. We thank Lynn manuel Miranda for recognizing Eliza's great contribution to our country and for celebrating her legacy in the musical Hamilton. Eliza certainly was a woman ahead of her time. At Graham Wyndham, we like to call her America's first great female philanthropist. And although she was virtually penniless at the time, with several children of her own to support, she vowed never to turn a child away from her doors as long as there was a penny in her coffers. In this way, she protected and nourished the lives and futures of hundreds of young orphans, little Alexanders, she called them, whom she hoped would have the same dreams and the same opportunities as her husband had. One of the aims of the philanthropy initiative is to bring historical perspectives to contemporary philanthropy. I think being mindful about these histories and our role in making history can enhance our participation in giving. For me, I think uh, my relationship with philanthropy has a lot to do with um, education and furthering the education of the next generation. Working with young people and getting them to see the world differently and raise their level is what ex exactly what Eliza was doing. It definitely is a lot of work and I have so much humility from developing the Eliza Project and also this documentary for, you know, nonprofit groups that do it all on their own and are successful at it. It's just, I can't believe how much of a rarity it is and yet we have all of these organizations doing good work. It's kind of amazing. Our kids power over their own narrative and having them take time to think about what that narrative is in an affirming way. It's the difference between our kids feeling like they are victims who the world hates versus courageous kids who have overcome some of the most extraordinary obstacles. Edgeham, Eliza Project, all of it is based on giving kids an opportunity to tell their story in a way that includes all they've been through, but comes out the other side in a really affirming way about themselves. Thank you all for helping us to connect the evolution of American philanthropy through the lens of Eliza Hamilton today. This has really been a fabulous conversation.